it's me, Ex-Canadensis, and let's talk about it. I got another Rainbow High doll house. Here's what happened. Here we are at Dirt Cheap. It's been a week, so hopefully something's different. Ooh, junior high puppy. I'm just gonna bring them all to one place, and then I will decide from there. Someone already stole this one every time. Oh, who are you? Vanessa. Should I stack on my rainbow highs somewhere? Why didn't we get a card? Here, I'll just stack all the rainbow highs here. Yeah, well, I already found four rainbow highs, so pretty good start. So I've done a lot of doll hunts at Dirt Cheap, but I've never done like a dedicated, detailed showing of the store so I thought I'd do it this time. This specific Dirt Cheap is quite interesting. I've only been to two so far but this one basically has three different toy sections and it seems like a large amount of what the store stocks is toys but we went to another one in a bigger city and it wasn't like this at all. It had like two very smaller like very much smaller toy sections so I don't really know uh, but they clearly got a new shipment in recently at this Dirt Cheap because they had um when you see like multiples of certain things, that means they got some kind of liquidation where, uh, whereas, uh, oh, Brett got that Kirby. Whereas a lot of stuff that Dirt Cheap gets is like returns or salvage or damage stuff. Um, and you can kind of tell if you see multiple of the same item, like, is that like a dragon down there or an ox or something? I can't tell. Um, but if you see multiple, it's probably like a liquidation or something. Anyway, um, I'm bringing things over here and stacking them here if there's something that I'm interested in um, so that later I can use the price checker app, which I do show you me doing that in a bit. They used to have it where like everything in the store was a set amount off depending on the day, but now you have to download this app and individually scan things. I'm pointing out the Rainbow High House. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> I was just saying like, oh, hey, I wonder if this is still 80% off. Like, haha. Um, and then this is the other toy section. This is where I generally find the better stuff. Um, I think this is where they put more recent acquisitions, but honestly, I have no idea. Um, I was really surprised to see this Amaya. I was so tempted. If she was any more percent off than she was, I would have gotten her, but you'll see. Um, I'm stacking all the Rainbow High Dolls in this section right there. I don't know why the Rainbow High Dolls, like some of them are over here and some of them are over there, or if it's just random, but I leave them in the section that I find them in. Just, I don't want to mess with whatever this store has going on. Although there is very little organization. I think the point of this store is like digging through it. And I love it. I love it. I love feeling like I found something. It's very exciting and rewarding to me. Um, I actually worked at Tuesday morning at one point and I got in trouble for organizing the sections because they were like, we want it to be a treasure hunt. And I was like, well, it, it's not exactly a treasure hunt. It was more of a trash pile, but still, anyway. Like In this sort of space, you can't tell when stuff gets stolen or thrown around, but I guess they don't really mind too much. And I love this store. So, anyway. A little bit of a tangent. I'm still mad about that Tuesday morning situation because I felt like the employee of the year when I reorganized the shampoos and the conditioners. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so this is kind of what the situation looks like here. A lot of Rainbow High stuff. This time they had a lot of Cheryl dolls for whatever reason, and one of them's been here for a while, but she hasn't gone down lower yet. Um, so then this is the app on Brett's phone. His phone magically scans really well, but mine doesn't. So Cheryl is, I, I couldn't even read the percent off, but she was around $20. I think they all were around $20. Unfortunately, I would really like to get more Cheryl's. And of course, that's still a great deal, but, um, you know, so 30% off is the lowest amount of percent off you can get. But for some reason, Rainbow High Dolls are not popular at the store. So, um, it pays to wait, you know? I would be very grateful to get a 30% off discount any day of the week, you know, and I'd be happy to buy them at this price. But if I wait, I could get them for 50% off or 60% off or 70% off or even 95% off. So I just leave them. I was very tempted by that Care Bear. I'm still tempted, but <laughs> um, I don't have a lot of Care Bears just yet. I love Cheryl. Still 30% off, which again, lowest percent off. And there's three of her, so they'll probably stick around for a little while anyway. Um, gotta move that Care Bear. It keeps getting in the way. <laughs> um, Amaya, I really wanted this one. She was $27.99, which 
I don't know. I feel like that set was not worth $40 in the first place. $27 is reasonable for the retail cost for that play set, but I don't know. And I just bought an Amaya here like last week because she had a weird lip color that seemed to be some kind of error. And then this Cheryl, I feel like, has been here for a while, but her clothes, her second outfit was missing and uh, the price tag was probably attached to the second outfit, so I couldn't scan her price, unfortunately. All right, and then we're in the second section looking at the dolls that I set aside over here. So $12, yes. Yes, definitely getting that one. <laughs> um, great price. This one's hard to scan because of her braid, but we have twelve fifty nine. So not quite one I wanted to pay for her yet, but she's been here for a while, so I hope she still sticks around. It's weird how few Nananas are here. Uh, I guess Rainbow High Dolls are pretty popular, so they get they're more likely to get bought and returned. I don't know. Um, Winter Break Jade. All of these were like 30% off. The Rainbow High Dolls tend to be around 30% off because they are more likely to sell than a lot of the other doll stuff that you see. Um, and 25 is like, it, again, it's a good price for Winter Break, but I'm just, I can't buy every single doll that I see. I mean, I probably, it would not be good for my wallet if I did that. I would not have a savings account if I did that. <laughs> um, and then last one, Lyric who I didn't buy on the Target sale, but I think the Target sale, they were around the same price too. Okay, so, so oh, this was here when I toured houses here, so like two months ago, three months ago? Look at this. <laughs> yeah, so her for 12 and her for, or this set for literally a dollar. And I don't know how much of the set this comes with, but I don't want to open the one that I got for $9 because it's in decent condition. So this is kind of score. And I haven't seen this in weeks, so I wonder if stuff like gets lost in other sections or what, I don't know. Brett Minecraft Axolotl set. How much is it? We're getting this. The axolotls aren't painted. That's a good eye, dude. I saw the axolotl. <laughs> yeah, mine. <laughs> Score. So last time I was here, this was $40. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> wow, getting this. Absolutely have to get this. So as you can see, I paid $12 for Poppy, $1 for the Amaya set, and $10 for the house. Dude. <laughs> the cashier was so shocked too. Yay! So it does have a sticker from Target, I believe, that says repackage, so hopefully everything's in there. The furniture alone is worth $10 to me though. We're here for Rainbow High Goggles. Let's get them. Yes. I deserve this. That's only $6. I needed this. Look at it. Oh my God. I'm gonna swim in my pool with my Rainbow High Goggles. <laughs> so, the store is called Dirt Cheap and it is my new favorite store. I can't, you cannot keep me out of that store. Um, I held off and didn't go for a week, and that helped me actually find new things instead of just going in and seeing the same stuff again. Uh, I found quite a few Rainbow High stuff, but most of the Rainbow High stuff was still like 30% off, and I'm I'm waiting because the Rainbow High stuff doesn't really sell very quickly there for whatever reason. So I was just waiting, um, but I go in and check every now and then, and if something's 50% off or more and it's something that I want for my collection, I will grab it. So we'll get to this in a second, but... I have a bag of things to share with you. Um, a few of these things are Brett's. So this was 17, so this was about 30% off, 40% off. This was basically retail, but things for Brett. Okay, now let's go to the things for me. First, junior high poppy. So the junior high dolls, I am not really sure. They don't come with second outfits, but I really, really like these. And I want some in box possibly. I'm really interested in doing some customs or just restyling and doing different redresses. So uh, if I can find these on sale, I absolutely want to. And this doll was $12, so a win. Very cute, very excited about her. Um, and Poppy is my favorite of the series one like main characters. So very, very happy to have found her because I didn't see her last time, but she must've been part of the same kind of lot as last time because I got her for the same price as I did Ruby. Apparently I got Ruby for $12 and not nine. <laughs> Alrighty, next. So that's the only doll I got, but this is from TJ Maxx. This is completely separate. You guys saw, but I'm so excited about these. These are Rainbow High goggles. Yes, Rainbow High swimming goggles. 
um these are so cool i saw somebody post about these on instagram i think i saw like two separate people post about them and i was so enthralled i was like i need that um <laughs> and they're at tj maxx and i dread that honestly because everything that somebody finds at tj maxx i never end up finding um for some reason it's so frustrating for me okay i cannot get this open all right so no idea why this is merch but i love it um so it's got the series one girls on it skin tones accurate which can't say that for all of the merch and isn't this cute i'm i don't think they're gonna fit on me i have a pool so <laughs> picture of the pool <laughs> but anyway i have a pool so <laughs> maybe i can use them <laughs> can't get it over my hair clip wait Yeah, okay, so these are excellent. I rate these a 10 out of 10. This was a great purchase. They were $6. Um, they're kind of in like the checkout section, as you can see in the footage where I got them, but I'm sure they can show up at other places too. This is cool. These actually look great. You don't have to remove the protective film if you don't want to. You can do whatever you want. It says please. Um, and the case is really cool. I could not figure out how to open it. I'm not gonna lie to you. It took me forever. <laughs> but anyway. These were a great purchase. I have such a fascination with doll line associated merchandise and stuff like this is my favorite. Like imagine 10 years from now, like, oh, do you have the Rainbow High Swim goggles? Yes, actually, here they are. Just hilarious. And I love stuff that I can like actually use. I don't like wearing goggles to be honest. I normally just open my eyeballs underwater. Pain is temporary. Good pictures are forever. Um, Anyway, the next thing, this is actually really funny because I just made a video about finding this at Walmart and I found it at Walmart like a month ago. So you might see it actually because I posted a video, I feel like it was in April of me in this town that I live in now house hunting, but I didn't really show the house hunting. I just showed the thrift stores that I went to and Dirt Cheap was one of them. And I think I showed this exact set um at dirt cheap but i didn't get it because it was only half off which is a great deal but this is what the inside looked like and it was open so i didn't get it because i didn't know if it had everything i went back today and this was a dollar one united states dollar i think it was like a dollar 70 but so i got it because he like the other one i'm thinking about unboxing I was on the fence. It's in pretty good condition, except that this side is like bent a little, but now I don't have to because I have this set. Um, this was clearly like a return by someone who was like, no, nah, I do not like this set, but I don't really want to do all the hair gel stuff. I just want the set. And I don't know. I think it has all of the pieces that I need just to make it like a display set, which is ideal. Um, cause I don't really like to use like the colored gels and stuff in my doll's hair cause it does stain. <laughs> okay. So this is the little sink thing. I have no idea how to put that together. Um, and then I guess this is a cup for filling it. We've got the hairbrush. We've got, is the, did this come with it? It's like a spoon. Um, I don't know what this is. And then we have a really big chair with like a cute little foot stool thing. And then all of the hair gel is gone, which I expected. Oh, that's for like applying the dye activator. I don't know. I guess you could actually like full on dye her hair. Um, yeah, it looks like I got everything. Yeah, I got everything except the gel. There's this little bottle I don't have and then all of the color bottles. So that's a win, and for basically two dollars, yeah. So this has been there for so long, and somehow all the other times I've been there and like scout, because I when I go there, I know when I record footage, I just show the shelves, and I don't really dig, but I dig. And we never saw this set, so I'm thinking it must have been hiding in another section or something. Um, but this is great. I'm very very excited that that we found this. I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> Um, so this was awesome, and it even has this spoon! Give it up for the spoon! Um, yeah. Adorable. Adorable. I love it. 
this alone is worth two dollars to me this alone is worth like five dollars to me so yes all right now let's get to it this is the rainbow high house this was ten dollars ten dollars it was 95 percent off now last time i checked the price on it because i don't always check the price on it because often the um the qr codes that you're supposed to use at that store to scan for the prices are often terrible like they they are often like torn or the inks blurred or something so you can't really scan it for the price and it's kind of annoying but last time i scanned it they were 40 dollars, which is an insane discount that is such a good deal uh <laughs> But this house is absolutely massive. So it wasn't about the price. It was about the size of the house. But for $10, I had to. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this as a shelf or use it as an actual house or both. Uh, my friend gave me the idea to customize this into a shadow high version, which is very tempting. Um, just paint the walls. But I don't know. I don't know. I really do want to do like a dollhouse project because um, I have wood shop capabilities, but I don't know. Um, and here's the $200 price tag here. Um, but basically what this store just puts the retail cost on it. And then there's this app that you download and then you can scan the QR code with the app. And then it will tell you like what the price is that day and it changes. So sometimes everything's 50% off like the first time I went. Um, sometimes it's based on how long the thing's been in the store. It's just, um, trying to figure out how it works and I'm not sure if there's an actual theme to it. And now for the moment of truth, is this set complete? If we got the furniture, $10 is a steal, you know, just for like the kitchen alone, $10 is more than a good deal, which the re a, a big reason why I didn't buy the set sooner actually is because... Um, I was worried about some of the furniture being missed. Not the furniture, but like, what if like an entire story of the house was split in half? I'm not, I don't want to spend $40 on a house that I literally cannot use. Okay, I'm going to push the camera back a little bit more so that this can be in the frame. Me and my Rainbow High house? Okay. Now let's check it out. So it looked initially like it was totally sealed, but earlier I was looking at it closer. Earlier as in when I was in the store checking out. And I saw a Target tag that was ripped off partially that said repackage. So I don't know if that means they had to fully repackage this thing or if it just means it was a return and they were checking or what. I don't know. Um, hopefully there's at least a semblance of a Rainbow High House in here. It looks like it was never open. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I've opened this before and it was a giant pain to unbox because it was in there so securely. Yeah, this doesn't look like it was ever unboxed. Oh my gosh. This is a big win, but that's the risk with stores like this because they don't take returns. So if you buy a set like this, this is the thing that holds the handle shape. If you buy a set like this and it's been unboxed before and it's broken, they're not going to take it back. So um, that's why it's kind of hesitant, but it looks, <laughs> it looks like it was never opened, which is great for me. There's no way this was unboxed before, but it could still be broken because this set had a lot of problems when it came out. How am I even gonna get this thing out? <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's like just dump it, I guess. Um, one of my Fairytopia dolls just flew down. Okay. God, this house is so difficult. I can't imagine all the kids that got this for Christmas and their parents are like, no, <laughs> I don't want to build that thing. I just threw that across the room. All right. Yay. <laughs> Round two. I think it took me four hours to build it last time. It's not gonna take us that long, right? You're not gonna let it take this long, right? Right, MGA? It doesn't take that long. I sure hope it doesn't take that long. Okay. So these boxes are the cardboard pieces, I think, like the, the house. And then the other piece is, oh my gosh, so I don't think this was opened ever. Um, the other pieces are like the furniture and stuff. And like the balcony and the doors. It has all the tissue paper and everything in place. Oh no. Okay. Oh yeah, it's 
stinks like it's supposed to. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so pretty sure all of the pieces are as they should be. I mean, we'll, we'll see if like during the building process there's just an entire missing piece. We'll know there's something up, but so far so good. I love this house. I was planning to get a second one anyway. And when they were on sale at some stores for like $75, I was desperately hunting for one. I had my mom looking. I had my dad looking. Both of my parents. <laughs> um, they live in different states than each other. And like, nobody could get it. And I was so sad. Or I actually went to two different states at the time that this was on clearance and I couldn't find them. No idea how I would have gotten it home, but I was looking. Because <laughs> um, I, I flew in. They were both for work slash school related things. Um, so getting it for $10. <laughs> that works for me. Because... Having even one of these houses is a luxury and it, it's awesome and I really, really love the house that I have. But I'm very, very grateful that I was able to get two of them because I kind of wrote off my chances of getting one after I missed the clearance. Um, but then I discovered dirt cheap and was like, hmm, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe I can get one for like $40 or at the time it was $100, but still that's half off. Because I bought the other one for full price the second I saw it, I was like, I need this. Um, well, nothing's broken so far. This might actually be furniture. I think this is furniture. I think there's just a lot of furniture. Um, oh, this is the elevator and stuff. Ooh, that elevator. I ripped that elevator off my other one because it took up so much space. All right. Well, it's time for time lapse, friends. So the thing that takes me like four hours only takes you like 10 minutes. No, why would it be 10 minutes? It takes like a minute, maybe. Okay, I'll be right back. So I remembered this being a frustrating process last time, but I did not remember it being this traumatic. But I will say, I didn't need help this time. I did it all on my own. Brett just had to bring me pills because I was in a lot of pain. <laughs> but other than that, we're good. I built it all by myself, all by my lonesome. Um, there's just something about these houses that you have to repeatedly screw things into. It's just, it hurts so bad. I have a giant blister on my finger. <laughs> it sucks but um the house is very cool and it's extremely sturdy like the other one survived the move just fine it's just kind of locked in my living room but look at this building a house yeah i've built a house before what about you all right guys i think that was about an hour so it actually wasn't too bad i think it was like an hour and 20 minutes here's the house i definitely have a huge blister across my finger here that's gonna form in the morning but my second rainbow house is now built. Maybe I didn't put some of the screws in in the back. Maybe I didn't. It's okay. Um, now all that's left is the furniture, which I'm very excited to have gotten at all, to be honest. Because, okay, so I've been saying this for a while, but I desperately hope Rainbow High at some point does furniture packs. Because as cool as it would be to get another house, like, I say this as I have another house right here that I just bought. But, you know, it would be awesome to get another house, but these houses are expensive. Um, and it would just be, um, some people don't have space for the houses. I know I certainly didn't have space for my last one, so I didn't even really get to display it. Um, but now I have space. That's why I have another one now. Like, I didn't just buy another one that I don't have space for. Um, but, I just really hope they do furniture packs because the furniture is amazing and you can add it on to the house you already have and have like expansion set. And I know this isn't the bedroom, I'm just putting it down for a second. Oh, did one of the legs fall off? Weird. We'll find it. Um, the furniture is just so nice. Like the design is really clean and like things like the mattress being squishy and like the acrylic chairs, like everything's so nice. And I just think it would be awesome because then for people who don't have space for the house, they'll have furniture for it. For people who don't necessarily want the Rainbow High house itself. Like, I know for me, I was on the fence because I wasn't sure if I liked 
um, wooden doll houses. Because in the past, every wooden doll house I've seen has not, like, spoken to me. Like, I was not interested in them. Where is the foot to this? Uh, must have fallen out somewhere, but I'm, I don't see it. I'm sure I'll find it. Um, but, you know, it would, it would just be great. Keep losing my train of thought. But my point is, I really like the furniture. Um, so buying this house, like, even if I didn't want another Rambalai house specifically, which I did, but even if I didn't, it would be worth it just for even some of this furniture. Even at the $40 price tag, like, I am over the moon about all this. And I can't wait for what I can do with this. I will say that a lot of the walls have super grainy um, print on them. Like, you won't be able to tell on camera, right? But even if I zoom in super close, but it's super grainy. So I think um, I'll be able to like paint the walls and add like 3D molding and stuff to them and not feel bad about it, you know? Um, Cause they're already really grainy and weird. Oh, I forgot about the little makeup palette all. Cause at my old house, when I first got the dollhouse, I had space cause I was living in the basement, but then I guess I can tell you now since I don't live there anymore. There was an issue where the toilet nearly fell through the floor. So that's why I really quickly had to move out of my basement. <laughs> my dream of having a doll dungeon. <sighs> but anyway, that's what happened there. So as soon as I saw water coming through the ceiling, like I had to go, I was not risking my stuff. So that's what happened there. Thankfully nothing got um, damaged. Uh, one of my displays got a little wet on the bottom, but it's fine been out of there for a long time and nothing's happened to it but um that's what happened uh, so that's why like I ended up just not having space anymore and I was desperately trying to be able to display my dollhouse and you saw that if you watched my series when I was trying to set up a space up there that's kind of that's what happened here's that hot tub maybe this one will work my other one did not work <laughs> I mean I didn't really watch other people's reviews so maybe this just straight up doesn't work in general Delilah, darling, would you like this hot tub? She's so cute. So cute. By the way, since people keep asking, she's wearing an Azo and Pure Nemo outfit. It kind of fits. But it's it's taped on in the back because I wanted the straps to sit right, but straps are not staying taped down. <laughs> so it's not really helping too much. Um, also, I didn't attach the elevator. I might end up attaching the elevator. To be honest, and this has always been a thing for me, I don't like dollhouse elevators. Like, they're always really clunky and loud. And, like, it's not that fun. I prefer stairs. The Bratz World Mansion has these, like, spiral stairs that are amazing. Oh, I can't wait to set up that house. My mom got me that house for, like, $20 back in, like, God, 2013 at this point. So long ago. I was in middle school when I got that house. And I loved it. I really didn't know what it was. I, I knew it was Bratz because it said Bratz on it, but we just found it on Craigslist and thought it was dope. And I, I absolutely love it. Okay, so this is the best piece of furniture that the Rainbow House comes with. This. This is cool. And actually, I have, like, the Bratz World Mansion, I have it complete. I have all of the furniture that came with it. Um, and it kind of was squishy, too. Oh, man, I got the seam. You see that? It's okay, though. I have a few weird seams on this one. Um, I feel like I'm missing like a wall or something. Like I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I'm gonna notice one missing or something. Um, this is the bathroom. This is the chair. <laughs> this this is awesome. I I love this house. I'm so happy about it. I'm so happy about it. I can't. I still can't believe this was ten dollars. Like I was, I was convinced it was gonna come with one of the floors broken in half or something, but. The only defect that it has is the blurry printing, which is a thing that was consistently happening, and this was not opened pr prior. It's weird because it did say repackage. I saw the sticker, I swear. I can't find it again, but I saw it. Um, so maybe that just means when they returned it, it was like partially open. I don't know, but um, all the tissue paper is in the right place, so I don't even know, but ooh, come back to me. There we are. <laughs> there we are. Um, yeah, super happy with this. This is the big furniture, like, the pillars with the doors, which I'm not going to put on right now. The balcony walls, which 
I like to put my other big boy house in here. I need to figure out what part of the room I'm gonna dedicate to being a dollhouse empire. Um, since I still have the hardware for this one, like my old house, I don't know where I put all this, but I have this for this house. I can uh, actually mount this to the wall, but I'm not sure if I trust the wall to hold it because it's quite heavy. <laughs> um, maybe it's just a, uh, I'm being overly anxious about that sort of thing, but I just really, imagine you're just, you're sleeping in the middle of the night and all of a sudden you just hear the loudest crashing sound in the world and now there's a weird hole in your drywall and your rainbow high house is in pieces on the floor. Like that's, that's what my brain thinks about. And I just really don't want to go through that. <laughs> oh, I didn't show you. Check this out. It like fits in there. Isn't it cute? I need to wash it because it's definitely used and it has a bunch of powder on it from probably the previous owner. But like, isn't this so cool? And I didn't know this like snaps on. Sorry, I've never even seen a like video of this place I didn't use. So I'm just so happy about it. It's so cute. I wish I had the spray bottle because I use spray bottles when I'm like brushing my doll's hair. If I'm not doing like a full on restyle, I like to like mist their hair first because it keeps it from getting um, frizzy or messed up. Because um, doll hair, if it's not treated very very well it's plastic it's not like human hair so uh you can really wreck it if you just rake through it so i like to to use some water and a metal brush so it just glides right through um so having a rainbow high branded mister would have been really cute but no problem all right the kitchen and more bathroom is all that's left but i don't want to keep you guys on the hook for too long um, definitely keep hunting for deals on this house because I've been looking at Facebook Marketplace a lot and I've been seeing this house for super cheap. I imagine people are buying it from dirt cheap since I, we live in this area and they're trying to flip it. Um, but I've been seeing this house for under $100 every single day and they're not selling. Uh, and this house was one of many at the store that I went to. There were like 10 of them in that field. I know they were kind of hard to see, but you can see them in other videos I've posted of that store before. They are everywhere. And there's another dirt cheap location in another city that I've been to that has tons of these as well. So they're absolutely everywhere. Um, I'm tempted to get more, but I believe this was the cheapest one. They're priced based on how long they've been in the store. So, um, you know, anyway, that's it for this video. Very, very happy to have found this. Just, um, Big advice for doll collectors in general is just keep your eyes peeled. Go places you don't always go. Like if you see a store that you're not really sure what's in there or if it's labeled like discount store or imports, go inside and check it out. There's some stores in Texas that like people walk into and there's 2000 Zara Bratz dolls just sitting on the shelves, pristine in box for retail cost. Like just try, try different places. Um, I'm a very opportunistic collector ordinarily, like that's kind of how I was before. I mean, I've always had this YouTube channel, but before I was doing a lot of review content, because review content, a lot of times I have to get the stuff first. I don't have to, but you know, you gotta get the stuff first. You guys are hyped to see it. I'm hyped to share it. Um, but before I was very opportunistic and I was always looking for sales and clearances and deals and stuff. So this kind of thing is right up my alley. And that's why I've been enjoying Dirt Cheap and of other stores like it so much. Stores like Tuesday Morning, Dirt Cheap, Ollie's, stuff like that, that just get older stock for cheap so it's either stuff that I've already missed out on or stuff that I wanted to get more than one of or I can beef up a new in box collection and even stores like Walmart and Target will have clearances. Amazon Warehouse is a resource that is very underutilized. I love Amazon Warehouse deals. Um, yeah. Just thought I'd share this find. I thought it was really exciting and I'm really excited about all the things that I found today although um, this house definitely uh <laughs> definitely was the winner. This is probably one of the best deals I'm going to find for a long, long time on like a brand new stock sort of thing. Getting 95% off on a $200 item is mind boggling and I am so grateful to have found it. And I can't believe like this wasn't even the only one. Like, <laughs> I don't know how much the other ones were because there was another one that was at 134, but I remember when I was um, scanning multiple houses at the store one of the last times I was there. They were $40 each and there were several that were $40 each. So I imagine this was one of them. So there's other ones. So I'm sure a bunch of other people are going to be very happy. Even the cashier was surprised uh, when she scanned my, when she scanned it, I was like, can you believe this is only $10? And she was like, like she was all surprised. I thought that was funny. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye.